facing internal and external threats in Medina. In the years before the migration, there was a long bloody tribal war between the two tribes of Yathrib, Aus and Khazraj. As things had started to calm, a man named Abdullah bin Obey emerged as a leader figure. Just as he was starting to gain the respect of his fellow tribesmen, people started to convert to Islam. So he was obviously jealous of the Prophet because he seemed to just come out of nowhere to assume the leadership of Medina. He resented the religion and the Prophet, but saw an opportunity to gain power by publicly claiming Islam while secretly opposing it. He became a leader of a group of people with a similar agenda. These people became known as the hypocrites. The hypocrites would spy on the Muslims and plot for the downfall of Islam in Medina. They took any chance they could find to incite doubt and internal strife amongst Muslims. Some of them would report to their allies among the Jewish leaders who also didn't want the Prophet to be the leader of Medina. They were secretly planning new ways to create problems for the Prophet Muhammad and his fellow believers. Many verses of the Qur'an were revealed to inform the believers of their plots and expose their lies. This phenomenon still thrives today with many so-called Muslims working with Western political interests to cause corruption and weakness amongst Muslims. The Prophet always dealt with the hypocrites with wisdom and justice despite their actions. It was no secret that some Jewish leaders hated that Muhammad was claiming what they saw as their own prophecy. A few Jews converted to Islam and others recognized the signs and they saw his integrity, so they developed a belief that he was a prophet for the Arabs, just as Moses was a prophet for them. After months, Jewish elders who were once respectful eventually began to mock and ridicule Islam and the prophet, peace and blessings be upon him. Some of the Quranic revelations challenged the historic heresy in their community. It was hard for them to undermine the prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, because they knew amongst each other, he vividly knew the stories in detail of Moses and Abraham, Joseph, David and Solomon and many others. But through the hypocrites, some of them would spread lies about Muhammad to spread to the other Arabs. Back in Mecca, the Quraysh were deeply frustrated after the Prophet and the believers successfully migrated to Medina. For the longest time, the Quraysh were seen as the dominant power of Arabia. The news of the Prophet's success affected the Quraysh's image. Some Muslims had not migrated yet to Medina and they were robbed and tortured at the hands of the Quraysh. Two narrations tell us about the hostile intentions of the Quraysh towards the believers now even after they have left. Sa'ad ibn Mu'ad was a wealthy nobleman among the helpers of Medina who had gone to Mecca for a business deal. As he circulated the Kaaba with his friend Safwan, Abu Jahl said, So now you just come here circling the Kaaba all living in safety while you have given refuge and support to our apostates. By God, if you weren't here with Abu Sufwan, I would not let you return home safely. Sa'ad raised his voice in dignity. If you cause me any harm, I will prevent you from ever making a business deal or stepping foot in Medina for business or otherwise. There was also a correspondence between the Quraysh allies and Abdullah ibn Ubay. The letter said, now that you have given refuge to Muhammad, by God, you must kill or expel him from your city or we will come attack you and take your women as slaves. When Abdullah bin Ubay and his companions read the letter, they talked amongst each other and decided they had to assassinate the Prophet. One of the believers actually overheard this and he rushed to tell the Prophet. The Prophet got a group of believers and approached the hypocrites simply saying, It's amazing to see how the Quraysh have plotted against you all to the point that now you're willing to fight your own family for them. What a shame. They denied the claims and later decided that this was a terrible idea and they just had to deal with reality as it was. The believers would remain steadfast in their struggle against the devilish ways of human power politics.